Didn't want to do the calming down, actually. Um, this class is called Pensis MK. He's a 12 year old who's just started work free. He completed successfully international in small tour and sunshine tour this year, and we have taken this summer to prepare for work free. So he's just about started that. Obviously, he has um, some experience, some competitive experience, although he hasn't done an awful lot this year since the Sunshine Tour. As a young horse, he won the Great Bowls Challenge with his owner, Nancy Bowles. Um, he won that as a five year old. So he has had some exposure to the atmosphere. He's a, a lovely character, he's a more fun horse, but he is a little bit of a joker. And I think that's one of the things that's so important when you go into competition with your horse is to know your horse's character. This horse isn't a fake this evening. He's not worried about the people here. He just thinks it might be a good bit of fun to have a bounce about. And that's a very good horse to the man who was really, really quite fond. Well. This one is more of a, a good deal than a fun horse. Um, I think it's a matter of looking up is such an incredibly personal thing. But really all I can do is share with you the way I all my horses are. Um, he obviously is a little bit tough this evening, so I may have to do a little bit more stretching than, than I might normally. I think I'm a little bit more trying to counter outside, because obviously we've got 20 minutes, so I'm going to have to kind of fast track some bits of it. I think one of the things that's really key to the growing up is the way of keeping the nerve and staying steady in their mind. Because the horse is going to take from you the signals and the messages. And really, in order to perform well, this confidence has to come from the rider. Which leads really to the question of how do you keep your confidence? People are really different. Everybody deals with nerves in a different way. Some people like to be alone, some people like to be with other people, some people like to know this is their special music for an hour and a half in their room before they get on their horse. And some people just eat. <laughs> Depends who you are. <laughs> the important thing is to know who you are, to know what works for you. And what makes you feel better? And that's very important. There are certain things that I never do before a competition because I know they don't help me. Um, when I started competing with us after, I very rarely had a groom or someone to come with me to help me. And it was absolutely normal for me to uh, get my horse ready myself, plant it up, to do all those things that you do, then get away, do the competition, sort it out again afterwards. That was all fine until I went on the team and I was told that I had to have a groom. So off I went, with my groom, then I ran away. And I thought, oh, this is odd, what people do um, when they're going to the test. And I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll go and watch. So off I went to watch. And it was a bunch of shit on the other side of the set. And I thought, no, no, that's not right for me. That's not <laughs> so I gave up watching it, so I don't think that anymore. But knowing yourself is important, knowing your horse is important. And I think that you have to have, and you need to have, some kind of a plan. It has to be a flexible plan, but you need to have a plan. And quite often what you see in competition is people frantically repeating movements and movements one after the other in the room but in my opinion, in the worst possible, they find the one movement in the whole test that they can't do and then anxiously repeat it, waiting for the miracle. It's not going to happen. It doesn't happen at home. It ain't going to happen in your test. And I think that's really important to keep you cool in that situation. You're probably much better to go and practice all the things you're really good at and leave that one well alone because you never know, you might fry them off some of the opposition anyway. So I think that's, again, that's an important thing. 
If you can be better in competition at home, the food course is a better competition at home. Some lazy ones, lights up a bit and become easier to ride. But in general, things don't go better in competition when they do at home. They don't spell as they do at home. And that is an important thing to remember. And to keep your feelings real. Because when you write a test, everything becomes magnified in your mind. Okay, and then we're going back again and ask for a look. 
have their own sensor on, and the one that is supposed to have a sensor on, and this one knows all that sensor on, and these are done in the middle. Okay, and I have a lectin, a lectin, and it's a free stop. But you can see that we have a discussion there, because this was used to enter in the sensor on, and what's it? Now, all I want to do is to anticipate, and I like the test, so this is all I'm going to put a circle there. Now, I ask you to collect again. Collect, but not stop. Okay, and then I'll go back and I'll do the same thing again until that happens smoothly. So again, that's giving me something else to do. Don't think about who goes to shit. I am busy. I don't have time for that. It's only worth worrying about things that you can change. If you can't change it, just don't even go there. Okay, we're going to put food in a little bit and then I'm going to pull it and then I'm going to collect it again. We still, rather well, hopefully, bring his ears. You don't get him the hole. He does a nice little smile and just. Turn him from the other way. Okay, and then I come from the other way. So again, it's giving me something to do, something to focus on. And it's giving you something to focus on. If I do an upload, this one should not come up the center line. And what will it? I hope. Good boy. And then I can find out a little bit over the ball of sleep because you can stop. Thank you. 